Well, we're headed out coyote hunt today, uh, going to a good spot. Uh, we're here a little late. I-80 had a little dusting of snow this morning, and the semis were blocking the road, making it a little slower than usual. So we're going to get up here, set up, see if we can call some in, and get some fur on the ground here real soon. Well, here we are walking into our first set. Got the UNs in the background over there. Like I said before, we're a little late because of the... I-80 was a little bit dusty as snow this morning. Slow down as semi, so we're gonna go see what we can do right up ahead. Well, that was the first set, called one in. How long was that, Virgil, do you know? Oh, uh, it was like 17 minutes. Oh, 17 minutes, called one in. Come flying in, probably 40 yards on my side. I had the binoculars up, didn't see him. It was right. I was writing away for Virgil so he didn't get a shot. I jumped up, got a couple shots, actually four shots, but two was out there hundreds of yards away. So we're gonna go try some more. Well, we doinked the dog on that first one. Had one come running right in and didn't see it to the last. I was on my side. Virgil couldn't shoot because I was in a way. Um, got a few shots off at it. We're gonna go try to get another one right up ahead. It's a lot warmer than I thought it was gonna be. It's 19 degrees, <laughs> but it feels great out there. I'm sweating like a stuck hog right now. Well, I just drilled one on the second set. Saw one down there farther, um, cutting through. Went up over the ridge, up over there by those bushes right there. It's wonderful down over there. And then uh, there's a truck up above us, so he's kind of screwing things up. So I waited for the truck to go by, and then I uh, I changed over to. Uh, Gray Fox Fight. I thought I'd give that a try. That was the second uh, run of that. Second time I ran a couple minutes. And this one came in and I got him. Not the way I wanted to. Gun jammed, or didn't shoot the first time. Then I tried to rack one in and it didn't shoot again. And then, <laughs> then anyway, I got one bullet out and got him down. So we'll get to going to killing some more. I got this one on the second set. He uh, had one come in a little earlier. Cut across and uh, got it out of town. And I don't know if this one decided to come back in when I changed over a different call. Anyway, uh, it took me a minute to get my gun going in the right direction and I drilled the sucker. So uh, we're gonna see if we can go get some more uh, dogs, get to call it. Right now, we're going to take a moment just to hear from our sponsors. I guess we don't have any. So if you guys want to give me some money for diesel so I can get out and do this every day and have a blast, go ahead, send it on in and give me a like.
well, I was driving on this road right here and uh, we saw one right where I wanted to stop and call in. Anyway, we drove down here for another quarter mile. We're going to see if we can call another one in because that one's a little scared right now. Saw the honker truck and he's like petrified beyond human comprehension. Well, since it's my truck, I get to make the executive decisions. We've been up on top of this mesa for a while and haven't got any. We saw one earlier. So I guess we're gonna go back down. We saw several down there. We're gonna work our way down, see if we can uh, take advantage of the wind somehow, which is a problem because we're driving to the wind and the sun. So let's see if we can find a place to get set up and get another one down for the night. Well, we got a day hunting in. Ended up with just one. Saw uh, three, maybe four. One twice or two different ones, I'm not sure. Got out of there. We could have maybe done one more set, but uh, it's kind of getting a little too limp, so we decided to go home. The wind's been blowing most of the afternoon. We just have to go out and do it again. So stay tuned. So this road, you take that road, it'll carry.